So before I get dig into the in-home appointment, the uh, Alliance Training Manual flip chart, I want to point out, um, promote some books for you that I think are very instrumental in helping you learn how to um, sell with us. Gwen knows, <laughs> right, Gwen? Because we were on a call earlier today, <laughs> earlier tonight. Okay, so I'm going to promote the first book, and I think Jonah probably showed you this book. It's called Go for No by Richard Fenton and Andrea Waltz. And this book is a real key book on dialing the phone. Okay, I think it's a great book. The next book, um, which I think is um, a very important book, is this book called How to Make People Like You in 90 Seconds or Less by Nicholas Boothman. This is a great book. It, it uses um, a technology of influence called Neuro Linguistic Programming, NLP. And Nicholas Boothman's an NLP guy, as am I. I've been practicing NLP for years and years and years. And, and a lot of our training um, incorporates neuro linguistic programming techniques. Modern rapport is one of the most important skills in our sales system. And this book will teach you how to create instant bond and rapport with people that are totally different than you, okay? How to make people like you in 90 seconds or less. Great book. So I recommend getting that book. The next book I highly recommend is a book by Dave, David Sandler called You Can't Teach a Kid to Ride a Bike at a Seminar, okay? And the Sandler system is the system upon which our sales system is based. I've been teaching the Sandler sales system for 20 years in, in this context with mortgage protection and you know life insurance sales with what we do in the Alliance. And the whole ATM flip chart has been based on the way I teach it, okay? So when you put that together, I had a big, big input on, on making the uh, flip chart system the way it is. And we use five of the seven steps in the Sandler system. And uh, so this book has got so many great nuggets on sales. So I highly rec recommend that book. Then the fourth book is sort of the add-on book. It's a companion book called The Sandler Rules. This book rocks. It's got so many nuggets in it. And so this is the next book to, to get after you get this one. Okay. So I think these, uh, this group of books will really get you well on your way to making money with us in our sales system. Okay. So that's my... That's my promotion <laughs> for those. Okie dokie, let's get rocking on the sales system. Remember, there are so many layers, so many layers in our sales process. I mean, we can get so in depth on it. Um, and I teach some very, very intricate um, sales systems within this process. But remember, today, this week is all about getting you in the field quick. So I'm going to like really not go into depth a whole lot. I'm going to give you just very surface level things that you can do to get a 55% close rate in the home. The, really kind of the minimum. If you use our system, you got to get close about 55% of the people you sit down with. Okay. So let's talk about really the philosophy of our system and why we use it. Okay. So when you reach a client's house to uh, talk to them about protect the, protecting their families with life insurance, you have two systems that you can use, okay? It's like a fork in the road. You could either use the client sales system or you can use our ATM process, the Alliance Training Manual process, okay? So you're probably wondering, well, what's the client system, Alex? Well, the client's... The client system starts off with they're, they're going to be nice to you, okay? It's their subtle form of bond and rapport. They, they want to suck you into their lair. When you get to the house, they'll say, oh, Alex, we've been waiting for you. We've been talking about sitting down with you. And you're thinking, wow, this is really nice. Why don't you come out and sit at the table with us? Would you like some coffee? And they're just really, really nice. You're thinking, wow, this is going better than I expected, okay? And then they're going to tell you 
why they need it. They're going to tell you this. And you're doing a hallelujah breakdown. <laughs> you're going, whoa, man. They're going to say something like, yeah, my wife and I are just really worried that, you know, our kids are not going to be taken care of. Something should happen to us. And we just really want to take care of them. We want to make sure that the house is paid for. And it just really is something we really want to do. And you're going, oh, my gosh. They're, like, selling me on writing an application. You know, and you're thinking, well, let's get to it. So then you start showing them prices, you know, different premium prices. And then they're going to say, oh, wow, that looks great. I thought it would be way more. Don't you, honey? How much for double that? And all of a sudden you start going like, man, your dollar signs are thinking, man, commissions, commissions, commissions. You're thinking it's a done deal. And then after they go, you know, I think we like this one. You go, okay, let's go ahead and write it up and see if you qualify. And then they tell you, well, Alex, you know what? We think you are great. You are one of the best salespeople that's ever entered our home. You're so informative. You're just a professional. We love your expertise. But we want to think about it. <laughs> They give you the think about it stall. We want to think about it. You're going, what? <laughs> yes, Ali, we like to sleep on any major decision, but I tell you what, you are, you are so skillful. We appreciate your time. I promise you, you didn't waste your time coming here. As soon as we're ready, we are going to call you. <laughs> By the way, here's a couple of bottles of water on your way home. And can we get a few cards? Because we've got people in our Bible study group that would love to meet with you. They're going to butter you up and make you feel good, tell you they want to think about it, and then you walk out of, the where, out of there a loser. You ought to feel like a loser. In fact, you got a family like this, you call me, and I'm going to call them, and I want to hire them because obviously they're a better salesperson than you are. <laughs> okay. So what's the alternative? The alternative is our ATM process. And that process starts with the bond and rapport. And this is all our techniques in creating trust with the client, bond and rapport with the client. Then once we feel really good about the client, we're going to move into finding the pain. Finding the pain. Why is it that they sent this form in? And we want to drill down to the emotional reason why they need this. And then once we find the pain, we're going to do an upfront contract. This is where we're going to tell them what's going to go down from this point on to make sure that that problem never occurs to you and your family. We're going to do this, and you're going to tell them exactly what's going to go down. We're going to, they're going to pick a price and options that will fit their needs and budget. We're going to write it up. We're going to send it to the insurance company. They're either going to approve it or decline it. But tonight is not a think about it night. So you're telling them up front, so it's not a think about it night. <laughs> you get rid of the think about it stall. Okay, so you do the upfront contract. And you know what? If they don't agree to it, you're out of there. You bolt. You say, hey, it's nice talking to you. Here's my car. Give me a call when you're serious about protecting your family. <laughs> Okay, once you get the upfront contract done, then you fulfill the contract. It's called fulfillment. And the fulfillment phase is when you show pricing. You show them three options. They're going to pick one, and then you're going to write it up. Then after the fulfillment is you lock down the sale. And this is called the post-sale, where you make sure they feel comfortable with it. You show them a, a copy of your policy that you own, right, to further amp up the the fact that you believe in life insurance yourself, okay? That you believe in life insurance, right? And you're going to lock that sale down. You're going to get rid of buyer's remorse. You're going to make sure you place that policy, right? And then you walk out of there a winner. And not only do you win, the client wins as well, all right? Now, percentage, percentages. 
you follow this process at, at the most basic level, you should take care of 55% of the people you sit down with. Over half the people you sit down with, you're going to help. Okay. As you get better with more training and experience, you'll, you should get to about a 75% close rate. 75% is about the most I expect or want from you because 25% do not deserve to be your clients. They don't deserve to be your clients. They don't deserve your time. They're the ones that don't love their families as much as you do. Like you never want to cover someone who doesn't love their family as much as you do. You want to take care of them. They don't really care. They don't, that's why they don't close. That's why you don't close because they don't love their families enough to take care of them. You know, so you get rid of them, man. They don't, they don't deserve your time. They don't deserve to be friends because I'm friends with people that love their families. Okay. I'm not friends with people that don't love their families. Okay, so I know I'm taking an extreme position, but I want you to understand my mindset when I take them down our process. And these are the numbers that you should achieve if you're doing everything that we're teaching, okay? even at the most surface level. And that's what all we're going to do tonight is teach the surface level of these five steps in the process. I'm not going to, I've got an hour long, hour and a half long um, videos on every step. Okay, and I go, I drill down to expert level. I don't want you to go there. This is not what we're going to do tonight. Tonight, I want you to feel comfortable with just the basics of the process. Okay, so there you go. Because there's only so much you can put in your head. And then the more I try to put in your head, the more intimidated you're going to be that you can't get out there and do it because you've got to do everything perfectly. Okay, I'm just going <laughs> to give you some just basic stuff and tips so you can operate the, the, the system. What is the system? The system is this flip chart called the Alliance Training Manual. Oh, wow, look at that. That's really dirty. <laughs> I guess we've been using it. Wow. I got to clean that up. So this is our flip chart, okay, the about me. Show them pictures, the companies, the, we find out their financial picture. Why is this important? These are one of these three, the one of these three slides we start the pain process with, depending on the lead. This is the fulfillment slide, what happens next. This is the quote slide, fulfillment. This is what they choose. Okay, then we do the post sale, which is getting referrals with our ERS system, the prescription discount card finding annuity opportunities, okay? This is where we lock them down to find buyer's remorse. This is our recruiting slide. This is our health matching account card, okay? Health matching account, right? And then we're done. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. So let's talk about the five phases in the process, okay? And I'm gonna put them horizontally, okay? You have the bond and rapport, okay, which then goes into find the pain, right, which then goes into the up front contract, which then goes into Fulfillment, it's one L, right? <laughs> Fulfillment, and then post sell. Okay. Now, let me draw out the submarine. It's really a submarine process. The Sandler is a submarine, okay? So that's my submarine. Here's the propeller. Here's the torpedo tube, <laughs> okay? Now I'll put in my little periscope. <laughs> and pretend it's yellow. <laughs> we all live in the yellow submarine, okay? 
So, um, oh wow, look at that. All right, I gotta get the, the borders. <laughs> okay, the five phase, now why do, we call, then why do we call it a submarine? We call it a submarine because submarines are built in compartments and the, each compartment can be shut, shut off watertight from the other compartments. So that it ensures um, survivability. So if a hull is breached in one particular compartment, you can um, spin the hatches down to close it off so it doesn't flood the rest of the submarine and it goes down and you die. And that's the same with this. Every compartment is it's self-contained and every, um, every subsequent compartment cannot be entered into until you close the previous compartment. So it's all sequential. So once you get bond report done, then you go into finding pain. But you can't go into a front contract until you've got the pain process locked down. Then once you get the pain process locked down, then you do the upfront contract. Once this is locked down, then you can go into fulfillment. Once fulfillment's locked down, you've got the application written up and submitted, then you go to the post sale, okay? It's all nice, tidy compartments, right? And they all build on each other. In other words, you can't have, you can't sell them anything until you decided that, you've, that you are gonna help them out and they're committed to putting an application in. And you can't get them to put an application in until you find their pain and there's a reason why they need to do the application. And you can't ask the hard, difficult pain questions unless they trust you and you have bond and rapport. Okay, do you see how everything builds upon the previous compartment, right? And so these are really kind of the five elements of a righteous sale. Okay, the five elements of a righteous sale. First, they have to trust you. Number two, they trust you, then they might believe you. Number three, they have to need it. Number four, they have to want it. Number five, they have to afford it. Okay? If you go to if you if you look at any reason why you don't close a sale, why you don't take care of a client, it's because of one or multiple of these five reasons. And you can really self-coach. <laughs> you think back to why didn't I close? Probably some of these, you know, and then there's that 25% that you're not really supposed to close, okay? Now, where, where, where in this process do you develop this? Well, bond and rapport is, ele is important to build trust and get them to believe you. Okay, finding pain is where you establish the need. The upfront contract is you establish the want. And the fulfillment is where you establish the afford, okay? Trust, believe, need, want, and afford, okay? All right. So let's jump in, let's, let's walk through the slides and where they fit, okay? So I'm gonna show you where the slides fit and then we're gonna go into, um, we're gonna go into uh, each slide, not each slide, but each section, okay? So bond rapport, excuse me. Bond rapport starts with, by the way, before I go on, okay? This process starts at the kitchen table when you're sitting at the kitchen table, right? I teach about 20 minutes on what to do from the car to the kitchen table. So there's this ritual of things that you have to do when you, before you get out of your car up until the point where you sit down at the kitchen table. They're all very important things. Again, we're not going to bog you down with that stuff right now. But this starts at the kitchen table. So the, the slides for Bon Rapport is the first slide, 
the about me slide, the about me slide, then this gains credibility, okay? So these, these first, what, one, two, three, four. The first four slides are dedicated to Bonner Rapport, right? And the main Bonner Rapport is the second slide about doing the about me, right? Okay, the pain finding section begins with your financial picture. So the transition between here and here is your financial picture. This is where you're filling out all the detailed information about the client's um, height and weight and so on, their medications, do they have a 401k at another company, et cetera. This is where we fill out what we call the green sheet, okay? And then the pain finding continues with one of these three slides, which depends on the type of lead that you're, you're using. So the general insurance lead, so this why this is important slide goes with the general, with a, a new marriage lead or the general life insurance. So this is the general life insurance goes with these leads, okay? If you have a mortgage protection lead, then you do the what is the mortgage protection slide, right? And then when you have a final expense lead, you do the what is final expense slide. So it's a final expense lead. Okay, so you do one of these three slides to get you in the pain finding process, okay? And then the upfront contract, which is a, a topic I covered this morning um, at 11 a.m. on our sales call, I covered the upfront contract, and that's this slide right here, and this is what we tell them what happens next. So it's only one slide. And then fulfillment is only one slide, which is the quoting. So we're going to lay out three quotes for them. They're going to pick one. We're going to write it up, okay, and submit it to the carrier electronically. Then the post-sale are all these last slides, getting referrals on the ERS system, the prescription discount card, the safe money looking for annuity opportunities. The final question, looking for buyer's remorse, uh, testing the close, in other words. And then this is the recruiting slide. And then the health matching account card, which is an add-on sale. Okay. And then there's some other things beyond the slides that I'll cover for the post-sale.